back in nature. <laughs> Your honeys are camping again. Yay. We are just as excited as you. We just arrived at Alexander Springs, one of our favorite, favorite places. My gosh, this place is beautiful. We're gonna be cooking, camping, all the things. We are in the Ocala National Forest right now. Yay. And it's definitely one of our favorite Florida landscapes of all time. Looks good. Yesterday it was Florida cold, so it was 50 degrees. I had on long sleeves, a sweater, and right now it's actually warm. It's probably like 75 degrees right now. Trucks are on, stairs Hopefully not the to attach. The thing. You gonna make some food? Yes, I'm starving right now. We're making a classic camping meal. We're having some pancakes. We're gonna put some honey, some nuts, a little granola on there. We got some yogurt as well. I did get some really good beef breakfast slings. I've never had like beef sausage before. Um, it's from Thousand Hills. It's actually a regenerative agriculture. One thing for 2024, I wanna start buying like better meat, local produce, local eggs, whenever it's available, whenever we can get it. Unfortunately, it's like not always that easy to get. So when we go to like co-ops or healthy stores, we always make sure to stock up on like good meat, good produce, good eggs. This is gonna be a massive pancake. Oh, wow. That's gonna be bigger than my plate. <laughs> nice. That was a good flip. For our coffee today, we're actually going to have a decaf. This is from Kookaburra in St. Augustine, Florida, a local coffee roaster. And I'm going to be using my new Stanley French press. This is actually from a honey. She gifted this to me. And it's like a travel French press. I'm really stoked on using it. I love the size of these type of French presses because it makes the perfect amount of coffee for me. So I already had my caffeinated coffee this morning. Me and Amber both are fighting a head cold, so I decided I'm just gonna have a decaf, have a nice like hot sipping beverage. I actually prefer like turkey sausage myself. That's kind of my go-to when it comes to like breakfast meats if I have to have them. Not a bacon girl, Amber's a bacon girl. I am, I am. I gotta say Julieta's presentation of her breakfast always looks better than mine. <laughs> she is putting lavender infused honey on it right now. I have some peanut butter, I got some yogurt, bananas, strawberries, granola. Let's try it. <laughs> it's too big. Mm. Mm. Sausage. Mm. I said she had to critique it because she's going to be a harsher critic than me. I think it's delicious. That's good. It's like a gourmet hot dog. Mm -hmm. All the toppings, all the fixings. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Can you sit? No. He's too excited. Oh, yeah, he is. He approves of the beef hot dog breakfast link. <laughs> Here at Alexander Springs. This is one of our favorite springs in Ocala National Forest. We're camping here for the night because we figured if we paid to dump, we paid to visit, it, we might as well just stay here. So we are camping at Alexander Springs and this is an absolutely beautiful river right here. It's a river run um, and the spring head is right over there. I think I'm gonna go swimming. We actually do not have a GoPro anymore. I just bought one and it is in the mail. So I want to show you some footage from a couple of years ago when we came here and swam. When you look out at this river, you can tell it's really beautiful, but you have no idea what's going on below the surface of the water. I'm going to show you right now. Yeah, it's a day. I'm hanging in the sunshine. You should hit me with a splash gun. It 
it does feel amazing to go swimming. How? Amazing. 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 Oh my gosh. It's this mermaid's turn to get in the water. Didn't bring a proper bathing suit. Didn't bring my contacts. I'm going swimming. And every time we've been here, it's been kind of crowded. But right now, there's only like three cars in the whole parking lot. Ah, bye. In the camping world, you know it's very tempting to want to buy new gear all the time. And we've had these camp chairs for a few years. They've been through a lot. They've driven thousands of miles with us. And we were gonna get new camp chairs and I was like, no, let's just use what we have until we can't use it anymore. So we're using them. I'm proud of us. Right? Yes. I want some hot chocolate. I'm gonna have a beer. Are you surprised? Today's beer is from Wicked Weed Brewing. This is Freak of Nature. It's a double IPA, 8.5%. This came in a variety pack. You know, I'm kind of stuck on the variety packs. They are so beautiful. I can't wait to review some more of them. I'm gonna start with a double IPA. I like to do that instead of start with the lighter one. Then I move light after the double. I kind of have a cold, but I took in a leave. So I probably shouldn't, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna have this anyway. <laughs> All right, look at that. Freak of nature. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, that is hoppy. That is starting off strong right here. It's really hoppy, it's good, isn't it? Our, ooh, shoot. Okay, you ready for your special chicken? <laughs> my favorite is a campfire when you don't actually need it for warmth <laughs> so you don't have to hover around it and have your hands like rubbing together to stay cozy instead it's just kind of perfect temperature out here right now wouldn't you say mm -hmm. what are you mm -hmm. except the bugs biting my foot right now <laughs> yeah it's really itchy I think it started raining. I can just tell because there's water on my glasses. <laughs> In our first video of 2024, we gave you a rundown of what our wishes were for 2024 for the coming year. And one of those was crafting, doing projects. There's no better time than like a rainy time at camp. I'm journaling. I love to write a few sentences every day about what I did. And then I also love to write my goals for the week and I love to check them off. I got this highlighter, which makes it really, really fun because I highlight it when I'm done. It's the little things, it is. And Juliette is over here embroidering, what? This is my new craft. I have a beach scene here. It's all the colors that it's gonna be. And this is what it should look like when I'm done. Just something to do and like fiddle with with my fingers. I all of a sudden sound so stuffy and I've been sneezing. I hope that this is the worst of it. So we're gonna eat some little hot dinner, watch some TV this evening. We're watching Killers of the Flower Moon. It's been on our list forever. and We've never made a point to watch it. So now we're gonna. And if Winston's set in the mood over here, it is chill zone. He, look at him. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> and I've been embroidering my butt off, okay? This is as far as I've gotten. I've had to thread the needle like four times already, and this is as far as I've gotten. <laughs> and that whole thing is going to be covered. You're I might be rethinking this hobby, I don't know. You're doing so well.
It's definitely a rainy day right now. It's very muggy outside. Very gloomy. Uh, we were gonna go out on our new boat, but we'll see. I don't know. You're gonna see if it clears up. I or haven't what? announced it yet. I know. I just let the cat out the bag. Ah, we're boat owners. Yes. You won't believe our boat. It's a cute little boat. <laughs> when you see it, you'll be like, oh, okay. So we got a little boat. We were gonna take it out on the river over here, but I don't know. We'll see. It's an inflatable boat. I don't want to get you too excited. Like we have this huge tow behind boat. No, <laughs> it fits in a box. <laughs> we got it on Facebook Marketplace. I'm sleepy. Yeah. I didn't sneeze the whole night, but as soon as I opened my eyes, I started sneezing. So I'm gonna go take a shower and wash all this off. Get the germs off, huh? Get off the germs, fresh day, and then I'm gonna come back and... What are you gonna do? Drink hot tea. That's a good plan. Big plans, y'all, big plans. We're today. just taking it slow in this video. We're just doing a lot of nothing in this video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, we're camping. The tea I'm drinking today, I picked this up. This is lemon, ginger, and manuka honey. It's an organic hot tea with all the things to heal me. How cute is this cup? My sweet niece Clementine got this for me. Thank you for my sweet cup, Clementine. I love you. We're on our way right now to a harvest host. We're gonna stay there for the night, eat some cheeseburgers. Tomorrow we're gonna camp when it's nice and cold. And we got a good recipe coming for you in the Dutch oven. I just can't wait. I just simply cannot wait. Time to roll out. Check all the cabinets. Windows closed. This one is good. Windows are closed. Hatches, closed. Hatches are closed. All right, fridge is still kicking it. It's on. All right, let's do it. We just found this local produce spot on the side of the road and it is my dream. I may or may have just spent $30 at the produce store and to me, that ain't bad. The thing that's a challenge though, to be honest, is that we have such a tiny space that I might have bought like so much ginger. But All right, we have about a 30 minute drive to our harvest host for tonight. I got a double hot tea, two tea bags. I'm just wild, I'm living on the edge. I'm ready to feel all the way better is really what it is. You've been a real trooper. Thank you. And I'm feeling much better all the way. I'm so glad. We're here. So Julia just checked in at their cute little shop. We're at Haley's Landing. It's on Stella Lake here in Crescent City, Florida. We're happiest when it's just a big old field with some we trees. Really are. And there's cheeseburgers right next door. <laughs> Our waterfront property. Yeah. Muddy is what it is. It's okay. Come on. I go pretty basic with this soup because when I'm not feeling good, I just want all the ingredients that are gonna heal me. So I got some carrots, onion, garlic. And my trick is when I buy way too many vegetables is I clean them first so that I can just have them prepped and ready to go and they take up way less room. Well, Amber's cooking up something healthy. I got a cheeseburger. Gotta support the Harvest Host anytime we come. I got a sundae and a cheeseburger and fries. Mm. Oh yeah, ooh, that's fresh cut fries. Ooh. Look at my minced garlic though, how cute is that? Beautiful. Got the base going, got it going, you know. Me and Winston are gonna try our burger. These fries look incredible. She said, would you like to upgrade to crinkle cut? I'm like, that is not an upgrade. No. Fresh cut fries? Mm. Cheese is nice and melty. It's so good. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's a good burger. Really? Here, you look. gotta take a bite. Look, now you got some carrots on the side. Mmm, so healthy. Look at that. Look at that. Do you love it? Mmm. Let's try it. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's cute too. Mm. And it was like $10 for the whole special. That's mm. honestly really, 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 really good. Ta-da! I did it. Super simple. I added some kidney beans and some noodles. I am having this beer. This is from the variety pack. This is the hazy IPA. Stoked. I'm so proud of myself for making this soup. It is actual soup. It's not just stuff. Let's try it. It's probably too hot. But let's see. Let's see if the carrots are actually soft enough. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. -hmm. Perfectly flavored. I just used bouillon instead of broth. It's so much easier for traveling and has so much flavor. And then I don't have to add any salt or anything. It's perfect. Good morning. It is such a chilly morning today. <laughs> Hey, we just woke up and the sun is shining down something fierce so it's really a nice way to wake up when it's chilly outside I love Wait, you gotta see Winston's routine okay look at first this. let's see Winston's routine look at this where is he Winston here he is come on <laughs> good morning Hi. <laughs> He was cold, so he sleeps in between her, her legs under the covers. <laughs> it's so cute. Mm. What I was going to say that I love waking up and it's chilly, turning the furnace on, and then going to like brush my teeth and wash my face with freezing cold water. There's something about it that just, it feels right. I can't <laughs> explain it. Do you like it? Yeah, for sure. You want to go outside? A new day, a new cup of coffee. Feels good to me. <laughs> Today we're gonna have a nature day. We need to do something outdoors because we've been cooped up inside. The weather's been muggy and nasty. Now that it's nice and chilly, we can bundle up, take Winston on a really nice walk through a really historical and nature-filled area. So we're gonna head there right now. Never mind, we're not leaving yet. We got stuff to get done. Amber's just like getting all her morning stuff ready. So it'll probably be in about another 30 minutes. While we're waiting, I put the solar panels out because we needed to charge up the Blue Eddy. We've been off grid all week, so it's definitely needing some juice. And I'm sipping on my coffee. I'm making tea. Do you want some oatmeal? Yes, please. You got it. Braided my little hair, sunglasses on, ready for a new day. And as far as my cold, still a little sneezy, but I'm gonna be fine. I'm gonna be just fine. This life is just so exciting, and I'm glad I'm not out for the count. I mean, I've been so sick that I couldn't go on. Not this time. We're feeling good, right? Yeah. Yeah. Look at this beautiful breakfast bowl Amber made for me. We got some oatmeal at the base of it yogurt, apples, and some really healthy like granola on top with some dried strawberries and stuff. We're actually at the grocery store and Ember's grabbing some more ingredients for the recipe we're gonna make for y'all later. We are stoked on this one. It is such a perfect winter day campfire meal. We're also gonna be able to take showers, which will be really nice, and have a campfire going in this cold weather. It's like the perfect, perfect temperature for just camping. Slow down, mama. Why you talk so mean? Good Lord, man. It's so beautiful. There's all these low hanging trees. And there's a bathroom. And you're not feeling good. And I don't feel good. It came in a wave. I honestly, I took some Dayquil and I ate a big bowl of oatmeal so I thought it would be fine. And I just got some orange juice, but I'm just gonna rest. Me and Winston wanna go on a walk and you'll probably join us, right? Don't you think? Okay, yeah. 
to get a little rest in. We're at the Bulo Creek State Park. As soon as you pull into the parking lot, you notice this massive ancient looking live oak tree. And that is the Fairchild Oak. It's one of the oldest live oak trees in the southern United States. How are you feeling? I took a little nap. I'm eating some soup. I'm gonna feel fine. I'm gonna be just fine. I feel like that's kind of the ups and downs living on the road. Sometimes you just don't feel good. Whether or not you live on the road or not, sometimes you just don't feel good. <laughs> Winston is ready to go on a walk though, huh? Yeah. What do you think? Are you excited? This place is also historical because there are a lot of old mills that used to be here, mill ruins, but they used to produce sugar cane, indigo, rice. What was the last one? Those were the three. And rum. Rum. Whoa, I didn't know that. Rum on. I'm feeling better all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> is there gonna be a bar at the end of this place, like a tiki bar? I wish. So usually whenever I'm watching YouTube and I watch YouTubers and they go on a hike, I click off that video. So if you want to click off, that's up to you. But we got things for later, guys. <laughs> this isn't one of those epic hikes. We're just walking. And you know what's the coolest part is my outfit right now. Yeah, let's show him. Are you seeing this Snuggie that I'm wearing? Who's that guy? That's Winston and a whole bunch of rainbows. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been able to wear it because it's never cold enough. It's like a blanket. It really is. It is the warmest Fix thing it. though, I love it. <laughs> Did we mention how freezing it is right now? Like my nose is freezing cold. My we lips. can't talk to them about this because it's probably 10 degrees where you are. And I, I don't even know if I've ever felt 10 degrees. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> I'm already about to go buy some gloves, like a ski mask. I need a ski <laughs> mask because we are gonna be going a little bit up north coming soon. We'll keep you guys posted on that. And we gotta prepare. We need like thermal liners we and stuff. We basically need Costco thermal wear right away. I'm freezing. Look what I found in my pocket. What is it? Remnants of the people we used to be last year. It's called Christmas tree pines. Pine needles. We were running a Christmas tree lot, like, I don't know, a month ago. And there's still pine needles that we're finding in the camper, in our pockets. <laughs> ah, good times. Good news, it's time to cook. This is gonna be a campfire Dutch oven recipe. And we're gonna cook something that is going to warm our souls from the inside out. It's something that you can make at home. You might have all of these things. My favorite kind of recipe is a simple, cozy one. Can you guess what we're making? Mm. <laughs> We got the fire nice and hot and ready for the Dutch oven. While that's cooking, we're gonna get the second part of this recipe going. Do you know what it is yet? Can you even guess? You're about to know, don't worry. While that's cooking, let's drink a beer. This is a beer that Juliette surprised me with. She went to a local grocery store the other day and picked me up something I've never heard of in my whole life, which is my absolute favorite. This is Space Camper. How fitting, how fitting. I mean, this is our Space Camper. This is by Boulevard Brewing. It's a cosmic IPA. What the heck's that? I don't know, we're gonna find out. It is brewed in Kansas City, Missouri, coming in at 5.9%. Let's give it a try. I'm being shot into the galaxies right now. Mmm, <laughs> it's really crisp. Not too hoppy at all. It's really smooth. It's really nice. Great aesthetic. I'm happy. And you know, beers always taste better when you're camping. 
actually heard the person next to me crack open a beer a minute ago and I was like, oh, that's my time to shine. The only other ingredients that we need is we have Wisconsin Havarti. You can use any thinly sliced cheese that you like. And we have some fresh pumpernickel bread. You know what it's gonna be? Okay, I'm gonna tell you, we are having tomato soup and grilled cheese. I told you, cozy, right? We decided to add some pesto too. We're gonna have basil in the soup, but I love pesto, so we're gonna add it to our sandwich. Okay, it looks so beautiful. We are going to add, you're supposed to add chicken broth, but I have a cube of bouillon that I added What's to. What's this thing for? A cup of water, I don't know. Ooh, Let's no blender, who this? I haven't had a smoothie because it's been too cold. Maybe add the water. If you add the water, yeah, it will cool it down. Yeah, we're gonna have to do a little bit at a time. Yeah, so add the water with the bouillon. Oh, that's really creamy. Now we're gonna go put it back on the fire, heat it up, and grill our grilled cheeses. We okay, can I gotta pour turn it. To the grilled cheese. I'm feeling so happy and full of gratitude for this beautiful meal that we've cooked. I've always taken tomato soup for granted. You want any parmesan? Mm, yeah, a little bit. Let's see. Yeah. That's perfect. Okay. Look at this. Delicious soup. You try the soup, I'll try the grilled cheese. I haven't cheese. tried anything yet. I'm excited. Okay. Grilled cheese over the fire with some spinach. Yum. Wow. So delicious. So fresh. It's not too tart. The creaminess is like outstanding. Mmm. So garden fresh. Mmm. With the pesto, right? Wasn't that a good idea? That was such a good idea. It tastes like an artisan grilled cheese. Dip it. Let's see it. I can't wait. Mm, I don't want to rush it because it's so good. Okay. Are you kidding? <laughs> it's Ridiculous. It's... I've never had it better in my life. Let's see. <laughs> I want to do a dip. <laughs> wow. Wow. Really, really good. I'm proud of us. I'm really proud of us. I love this. This is fun and new and different. We and got healthy. the fire raging outside. Mmm. Doesn't get better. The girl's happy. It's actually regenerative agri it's actually regenerative agriculture. It's having just like fun. Just having just fun past time. What do you call them? Outlets. Thank you for my sweet cup. Thank you for my sweet cup. Yeah. I love freezing cold water on my face, I guess. That's what it is. It really wakes me up and gets me jazzed up. Jazzed up. <laughs> my hair is looking whew, like I need a haircut, but y'all still love me. We good.